Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I'll be cleaning all my water filters in my system. This is how to clean your water filters in your water purification board. First step, uh, we'll need to remove all the filters and the housings. Before you can remove uh, your filters and housings, first you'll need to turn your water off to your system. Uh, so now you can drain the system and no water will continue to go into the system uh, and I also just unplug my battery I have that it's, I have that quick disconnect makes it real easy and then this also this piece right here helps uh, give the rest of this part of the system air to drain and so we'll just drain it out quickly whenever you take these out you'll want to be aware sometimes these o-rings get stuck inside so you want to make sure you get them out so you can wash them. See, it's been a while since I've cleaned these. So that's actually a good thing. They've lasted a while. This one actually has a little bit of algae on it. If you watched my last video, uh, I said I didn't have anything in this housing here. I took out the sediment and the carbon filter, uh, but I'm still going to clean it because there still might be some dirt, debris, sediment, anything in here that might uh, dirty my other filters. So I will clean it. Here I'm just draining my 20 inch bag filter, uh, removing it. Uh, removing the housing and also removing my ceramic filter as well. Be careful when you remove your sediment filter, uh, your sediment, I'm sorry, rather your ceramic filter. It's the most fragile and it's also one of your more expensive ones, so you don't want to break it. So I, I have this bottle cleaner that I like to use. Uh, you could also use an old toothbrush. It's a little smaller, may take a little bit longer, but it will work. So I just use warm water, scrub, scrub all the housings out real well. Here I'm using the kitchen faucet to clean my Rusco spin down filters. This works great for the 100 mesh, the 250 mesh, and the, and the 500 mesh. However, for the 1000 mesh you see here, uh, you can spray it off with the faucet, but then we'll have uh, one other technique we use to clean this. So for my 1000 micron and 500 micron, I like to just use the, oh yeah, and you'll see the dogs love it too. Yeah, I like to use the, that's, this is the city water, and I'll rinse my filters real good after this, but I get a lot more pressure out of this. I have this little attachment on here, and it, it slings water out, so here we go, watch this. That's the, that was the side that was dirty that I just cleaned in the kitchen, and now here's the other side. You see how much better it cleans it. So if you have a power washer as well, this will, this will work on. Now to change the back filter, here's the old one, simply take it out, put your new one in, and you're ready to go. That's it. Now for the ceramic filter, this is the one that is the, uh, the biggest pain. We're going to actually have to scrub these ceramic candles with a green Scotch-Brite pad. Uh, so we we'll want to scrub them softly. If you see you're putting, uh, if, if you see your scrape marks in the ceramic, you need to lighten up a little bit and not scratch it so hard. So how this ceramic filter works, the center piece will come out. We'll want to scrub this as well. It's kind of slimy. Then each one of these candles will be removed too by unscrewing it. So 
So in order to clean these ceramic candles, you want to scrub them softly with a Scotch Bright pad. Scotch Bright pad. All right, you can see the difference. Which the one on the left is clean, the one on the, my right, this one's dirty. Once you have all your candles clean, you can put it all back together, put it back in the housing, and put it back on the water filtration board. Okay, now to put everything back on, put this one on that I don't have anything in first. Okay, so this just snaps right in. Uh, remember to put your gasket back on. And also remember to put them back in the same order. This is my 250 mesh, my 500 mesh, and then my 1000 mesh. I already got all the filters cleaned. Going to hook the battery back up and turn on the water and it should prime itself and I'll be ready to go again. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions about how to clean the system or need more detailed instructions, just comment below. Thanks again for watching and everyone have a great day.